Hello game design students. Um, I'm continuing my video series here of how to make the 2D platformer. In the previous video, we made a tiled background. We set it to the size of our layout and we locked it up so we can't select it anymore. For this video, we're gonna learn how to create platforms or add platforms with the tile mapped object. So a tile map is really cool. It takes a big sheet on our computer of different tiles and it allows us to draw them on our layout to create objects that our guy can jump on and do some different things. It's really useful in a lot of game types, but especially the 2D platformer. Now, we're gonna scroll down here to the actual part we're gonna to get to doing something. We're gonna double click a space in the layout. This will bring up the create new object dialog again. So as we did before, we can double click and it'll create a new object type, or we can right click and insert new object. Doesn't matter however you wanna do it. Again, we wanna scroll down to general and we're creating a tile map. It's right next to tiled background, but make sure you click tile map and not tiled background. So I'm double clicking it here and it's just like the tiled background. We just click anywhere to insert it. And it has this default tile map here, which is cool. It looks like a little fence area and things. And this could be useful if you're making some, some sort of top down game uh, perspective, but we're not, we're doing a 2D platformer side scroller type thing. So same as we did for the tiled background, we're gonna load in our own tile map. And this is actually found, if you go back out to your folders here, it's going to be in the tile sheet. And there are two options. There's tile sheet complete and tile sheet complete 2X. The 2X, as you can see from the dimensions, is just double the size of the tile sheet complete. It doesn't really matter which one you do, but by doing the tile sheet complete, it'll actually just give us a little more room to work. So we're gonna go with that one. So I can click it, open it, and you can see here it is all loaded in. It has a bunch of different terrain types has some different flowers and plants, as well as some different blocks, liquids, spikes, signs, all sorts of useful things that you would want to use to create a level. I don't have to edit anything on here. I can leave it exactly as is. I just need to click the X, and it now has inserted a tile map over my entire layout. You can see it's highlighted blue. It's covering my entire layout. I don't need to mess with anything here. It's sized perfectly exactly how I want it, okay? Let's continue here. We've added the tile map. We've loaded it up. The first thing it wants us to do is in the properties bar, change the value of tile width and tile height to 64. So we're gonna go over here to this and I'm actually gonna change where I'm at in the video here to the middle so you can see both sides of the window. And on the left side, we're gonna change our tile width, <laughs> tile width to 64 and our tile height to 64. It's important you do that and I'll show you why. The next thing we need to do is in the bottom right, if you do not see it already, display the tile map bar by clicking the appropriate tab in the bottom right corner. If we look in the bottom right, there's a layers tab and a tile map tab. We need to click the tile map tab and you'll notice it brings up our cool tile map. And I've resized the size of my tiles to be 64 by 64 so I can select exactly one square. If I did 32 by 32 like it was before, you'll see it only selects a fourth of a square which could be useful in some ways, but for our level, it's easier to go 64 by 64. Okay, here we are. Let's continue on now that we've done that. In the tile map bar, moving your mouse cursor over the various tiles, you can see a square of appropriate uh, proportions appearing, which you can see right here. Works perfect. Let's left click to select a tile and they're going with the red and brown. We can choose whatever color we want. <laughs> I'm liking this one at the bottom. I kind of like this dark blue and green. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And you'll notice now that it's selected, it's highlighted for me and it'll stay that way. Next thing we need to do, click the pencil tool in the top of the tile map bar. So as we go back to tile map, up here I have this whole toolbar and I'm gonna click the pencil tool. And what this allows me to do now as I move my mouse back onto my layout, as you can see, it allows me to draw stuff. And I can hit control Z to erase all that. But that's what this basically is. The selected tile appears under your mouse cursor when moving over the layout and is automatically snapped to a grid of the tile width and tile height proportions. And we can click left click to draw a tile. So just by clicking, you can draw these tiles. Let's see, let's see. Anytime you can select a different tile from the tile map bar and draw it. And draw it. So we're gonna start by just drawing a pretty simple platform. I'm just gonna start here at the left edge and I'm gonna open up that platform and then I'm gonna choose one of these middle pieces and I'm gonna drag it out a little ways and then this piece on the right. 
and end it. And so as I zoom in here, you can see I have this nice little platform, okay, that a player character could stand on. If you have made a mistake and want to remove a place tile, you can either draw over it with a different tile or use the eraser tool in the tile map toolbar. So if you look, I have this eraser tool, so I could potentially erase. I'm like, oh, I messed up there. Another thing that's cool is when I draw, I can actually hit right click and it will erase as well. So I can just erase everything by holding down right click. I don't really want to erase that. I actually thought those platforms were in a pretty good spot. Maybe I'll put them a little lower, but I kind of like this first platform. I think it's in a nice location there. I think it looks good. Okay, good little platform. Let's see, and then it says have fun drawing your level. When you are done, it may look something like this. So we have some levels here. Now I am not gonna necessarily for this tutorial make a whole big level. I would advise you to do so, but for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna do something quick, all right? A little quick and easy um, thing here just to make it fast. And I'll probably fast forward through this part of me creating the level just so you can go. So we're gonna start the fast forward now. We're back. So I've made my level here. Um, I just decided to make it a little running and jumping thing that my character can jump across. And then you get to the end of the level here and let's do this. I'm just gonna throw a nice little flag at the end there for my guy to run into at the end. Okay, there we go. So I have my nice little level. Left click the select tool on the tile map toolbar. Now this is important here because as I go here, if I don't change, I'm just gonna keep drawing stuff and I don't wanna keep drawing. I wanna make sure I can actually keep working on my game. So in the toolbar here, I need to click the mouse icon. So I'm back to doing whatever I can do. So I can select my tile map, I can unselect it, it doesn't matter, right? Here it is. I need to make sure I've clicked that mouse icon. That's important. This allows you to stop drawing or editing your tile map tiles and go back to the regular usage of the layout view. So take your time, create a cool level, something that you think would be interesting, that looks nice. Don't be afraid to, to add in some of this other stuff. There's a lot of cool things you can add, some grass, some plants, some items, all right? Add them in there, make your level look nice, make it your own, okay? It doesn't have to be simple, it can be, but uh, be creative, I would urge you to be creative with it, okay? That's the end of this section, which is all about doing the tile map. In the next section, we're going to add the player sprite. So we're actually gonna add our player in, do some animations and allow it to move around our level, okay? Um, just a, a video in a series of these. So we'll see you in the next one. Bye.